Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're gonna to talk about a Defender 110 TDI diesel, beautifully restored. And you say, well, Tone, can I get a 110 here in the country? No, you cannot get a 110 here in the country when they were new, only outside of the US. We particularly bring these in from Italy. Why do we get them from Italy instead of maybe their home country? Several reasons. Let me run down some of those there, as well as the restoration and as well as how cool uh, this one is because it's very different than the others that we've had. A full body kit, LED lighting, custom interior, all that good stuff. We're gonna take a few minutes. We're gonna look at all those great things. And by the time I'm done, hopefully you'll say, man, how do I get this in my garage? All right, so a lot of the times I get comments like, man, that is a great looking car. However, most people who say that, whether I pull up to a place, you know, it's out front or a car show, or sometimes here in the showroom, you know, they say, uh, this is a great looking car, but they don't really know why it's a great looking car. So I say to you this, let's take a second and see why this is a spectacular looking Defender that other Defenders don't look anything like. They're typically slab sided, very flat vehicles. This here is so far from that. But the custom hood, custom step uh, pieces here, custom front end, grill, headlight, around LED taillights headlights those kinds of things this bumper's been trimmed cut and moved inside like this right where you're you don't even see some of the things so for instance like this has a full body kit on it why do the wheels and tires fit perfectly because they have the correct spacer inside there heavy-duty parts are on here four-wheel disc brakes they paint the roof black why do we paint the roof black well we paint the roof black because it helps squat the car down. I wear black because it's a slimming color and it helps me look slip, right? But this right here makes it look squattier and more uh, bulbous like this. And so you look in here and you see these kind of cool things that look like real deal rivets. Uh, the body panels are put on here. But if you look underneath the vehicle, you'd be just impressed as a top because it's so nicely done underneath, right? And that's where so much of the effort is put into making these things great vehicles. Because they don't drive great because they look great up top. They drive great because they've been taken care of on the bottom. All right, so I wanted to talk about this section right here because when you pull up to a car show or cars and coffee or something and nobody's ever seen this, this is probably the most important part that they gravitate to right away. So you tell them, why is that such a big deal? Well, the other thing about that is when I'm buying a vehicle, and this is just a small tip, is I look at the tires that are on a vehicle. And you say, tell them, what does it matter with tires on the vehicle? And I say, well, here's why. If, you, if it's your baby and you need tires, you're gonna put the best tire that you can buy on there. You're not gonna overspend on it, but you're gonna put the best tire you can. When we got this vehicle, it already had uh, Pirelli uh, Scorpion Zeros on it in 20s, right? This wheel and tire combination right here was well over $2,000. These are Range Rover alloys and stamped right on there. And they fit so good in the body. This whole setup here with the vent, and this right here to protect it from rock chips and things like that. You don't have to have these, these are removable, but they do save the body some from uh, mud and what have you. If you're not planning on going off road and you don't like the look of them, those are easy to remove. I just wanted to share a second just about this because this is a great looking piece of the vehicle. All right, so I forgot to talk a little bit about the hood because this is a custom hood that goes along with the whole body kit that's here, as well as the Defender callouts. I love the raised part of this. It just makes it look so muscular, all right? And then let's say, uh, maybe you're not gonna work on your own vehicles, but maybe you just want to uh, show it at a car show or whatever. It's just nicely done, man, right? It's got parts in here, power steering, power disc brakes, right? Uh, turbocharged diesel, right, for serious power, right? And it just goes well. And with the manual transmission, it's just cool to get out of your regular daily driver and get in a vehicle like this. It has like five forward gears and it feels powerful and it feels good as it's going down the road. It's nicely detailed in here. Uh, and you won't have to spend a lot of time working on it because uh, you're gonna be spending a lot of time driving it to add some of the custom touches. So if you look at this from behind, look at the body kit that's on here. It makes it look more muscular. It makes it look wider. This hitch is super heavy duty. However, if you don't want the hitch on there, uh, we can remove that. And then uh, we'll just put it in the back of the vehicle. You can put it back on whenever you want to. Uh, that's kind of up to you. It's already wired up as well for that. It's got a nice cover on here with a spare tire. The blackout roof treatment that I was talking about is there. LED lighting, which looks really cool. And then what I like to do is spend a second just inside here because now this is very detailed. So not only is this great looking, it's functional. Can you imagine going to the beach in this vehicle or going out with another couple or some friends? Let's say you went to a, to a, a car show or the beach or whatever, you could throw all your stuff back in here. Or if you want to, or how about this, and or. 
And if you wanted, we could add jump seats here, but it's already seating for five. I don't know if you need it to be seating for seven or whatever, uh, but we could install those in there. Uh, but most people would use this for storage. You do whatever you want with it. I'm just letting you know, there's options when you buy something like this. There's options. It doesn't have to be exactly the way we're presenting it right now. We can change it a little bit so it makes it the way you want it. All right, so come join me in here for a second. I want you to see this. This is, I'm 6'1", so I have a room here. I got some room here. Uh, if you have big people, big kids. This is a vacation vehicle, a beach vehicle is too, because look at the amount of room in here. You could seat five people here. There's seat belts for everybody. It's very lighted and roomy in here. You got grab handles, new headliner, the dash is all restored. It's, this is really, really done well. Even the cool mats with uh, the white piping on it to match the stitching in the seats. Uh, little touches like that. Again, people say, wow, that's a great looking interior, but they don't know why. This is here has been all been modernized and looks really, really great. All right, so let's go move up front for a second. We'll go check that out. All right, this is a commanding position right here. This seat does move, has a lot of adjustments and things like that to make it more comfortable, however big you are, little. Um, I like it because even for shorter or smaller uh, people, maybe don't have a big inseam um, or uh, however you want to say that, height challenge, however, whatever you want to call it, that you sit and you command the road, right? There's so much uh, around you, you just feel great. They give us some full gauges here. They give us an odometer, which is the selling feature of this vehicle. It's 55,761 uh, kilometers, which averages out to around only 43, 44,000 miles, right? This is amazing. The interior is beautiful. This custom console here with this ebony wood door uh, storage here. And then you have AC, right? You have full climate control. You got this great looking with steering wheel and just fits in your hand nicely. And you just wheel on down the road in this vehicle. You know why this is so cool looking? Because there aren't any others like it here. This is the only one of its kind I've ever seen, especially in the colors and the body kit and things like that. It is just awesome. All right, so we're closing up the video on this. You didn't get to see the underside, but it's all detailed. It has a coil spring suspension, right? This is a, this is a heavy duty off-road vehicle. It may never go off-road, but it's so cool to look at too. Who cares, right? But the fact of the matter is that you can do all that. The color, it's an Aston Martin gray color, right? That just uh, goes so well with the blackout treatment, the body kit, the turbo diesel, not the regular diesel, turbo diesel, the five speed. And I go on and on with locking differential locks. It's just, I don't know. I get excited about stuff that you don't see every day because that's kind of what we do. We just have stuff you don't find everywhere. And I feel like this uh, could find a way in your life. It would be a lot, a lot of fun. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this super cool Defender 110 4x4. And uh, don't forget to uh, like this video if you would, please, and make sure that you share it with your friends. And I think if you could subscribe to the channel, you'll find some other great content comes out all the time.